There are three deformities. Number one, no heel to prevent equinus, straight in the water to prevent adduction, outer shoe race to prevent inversion. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tushar Mehta. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and a faculty of orthopedics. Well, today I'm going to discuss a very important MCQ from a very important topic, clubfoot, CTEV, congenital telepus equinovirus. This is the question. All of the following are properties of CTV shoes except. So first thing that I want you people to remember is never ever miss this except. Because when you are sitting in front of a screen trying to solve your final PG entrance exam, a lot of it is at stake. And it is at that moment under a lot of pressure, you tend to miss this word except. So again, reading the question, all of the following are properties of CTV shoes except. That means which is not a property. Before going on to the options, let's discuss the question first. <clears throat> Guys, in CTEV, we struggle with a deformity. That deformity is what is called as equinus. We struggle with the deformity. That deformity is what is called as inversion. We struggle with the deformity. That deformity is what is called as adduction. So please understand that you have a child suffering from clubfoot in which there are three primary deformities. The names are written. I've just written them in front of you. You have corrected them. Now, in order to make sure that your correction works, you have to maintain your correction. Then that's the reason why you prescribe CTV shoes. All right. Now, what should be the property of a shoe? The property of a shoe is to maintain your correction. How do we do that? First of all, please understand that if there will be increase in the heel, imagine this is my right foot. If there will be increase in the heel, that will lead to what? Equinus. If there will be a heel, that will lead to what? Equinus. Do we want equinus to occur again? No. So we should have a completely flat heel, empty heel, no heel. So please understand that this heel can lead to equinus. We don't want to have that. So we should have no heel empty heel, flat heel, so that we can prevent equinus. The second thing I want you to remember is we deal with a deformity that is what is called, imagine right foot, we deal with a deformity called as inversion. All right. Now, normally every shoe has got a slightly inner raise. And if you have a normal shoe with an inner raise, that will again lead to what? Inversion. Do we want that to happen? No. So what do we want? We want a slightly outer raise so that the foot lies in slight eversion. So outer rays will help to counter this deformity that is called as inversion because of the outer rays, the foot will have a tendency to go into slight eversion and that is what we want. The third deformity that we deal with is basically adduction at the forefoot. Now normally every shoe has got a slightly curved inner border. All right. Now, if you have a slightly inner curved border, then there is a quite a possibility of the forefoot going into adduction. Do we want that to happen? No. So we should have a completely straight inner border because if you have a straight inner border, which is completely straight, then there is no chances of adduction. So this straight inner border will basically help you to prevent adduction. So today we have understood that there are three deformities. Number one, no heel to prevent equinus straight in the water to prevent adduction outer shoe race to prevent inversion now if we go back to the question they had asked you except that means which is not a property of ctv shoe well this is a property this is a property this is a property we do not have a property called inner shoe race because inner shoe race will again lead to what inversion so this is certainly not a property and therefore d is the correct answer to this question well, CTEV is a very, very important topic, not only for MBBS point of view, but for PG entrance as well. You should know about Ponsetti technique in detail. You should know about triple arthrodesis. You should know about path anatomy of clubfoot. For more videos on these topics and related to that, please stay tuned to my channel, like, share and subscribe. I wish you all the best. Thank you.